Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motai Media, and today we've got a review of Ellis's Signals EP. First of all, this video is sponsored by the Bowtie Gang, the channel members of this channel who vote on weekly what video is going to come out, and this was the one that won, so let's hop into it. Yes indeed, Ellis is here now with his second studio EP, a follow-up from his 2020 debut, Recollection Prospective. Primarily known for his funk implementation in the EDM space, Ellis's career has spanned genres such as indie dance, electro house, electro pop and much more. Well, that debut EP back in 2020 saw Ellis embracing the more of an indie dance production side of things, while this new EP signals is a quick hit of three electro house tracks. Regardless of what genre Ellis is tackling in the moment, he is always adding a layer of funk with groovy instrumentation. At least for myself, Ellis has become known for cheerful, punchy piano chords and that iconic synth blare the <laughs> and that has uh, sort of since become his calling card. But yes, hopping into this project, it's not nearly as full as his 2020 EP, I would say. With two tracks shorter than Recollection Perspective, Signals is almost half the runtime of the former. And for the most part, I think I'm actually fine with that. None of these tracks necessarily feel too short or as if Ellis needed to explore the space more. If anything, I think it's the shift over to explicitly house tunes on this record, a space that often has shorter tracks that helps alleviate any feelings that this project may be lacking. The stars kicks off this project with a very welcome production feature from Throttle. Starting with these calming synth chords and deep vocals, the track has an instantly recognizable tone. And it doesn't take much to get that track really moving with a relatively simple house beat kind of layered underneath that same synth to really kick the track into another high gear on the drop. And probably my favorite part of this track is the beginning of the second verse that adds this kind of dense synth that really complements that really bright melody on the main drop sections. Then we get a more reserved intro into that final drop movement with a greater emphasis on those hi-hats for the pre-drop, giving it a kind of slightly trap feel. Overall, I thought this track was a solid funk house tune, despite the relatively reserved production for what is a pretty massive collaboration on paper. I definitely expected this to be a more explosive track, but was actually quite content with how the final track ended up. Back to Life is the middle track on this project and has additional features from Novador and Haley May. And this is yet another track that is instantly recognizable with Haley's, and it's making me vocal chant that kicks the whole thing off. In addition, those vocals are kind of processed and mixed around to where it kind of feels part nostalgic and part kind of classic funk. For some reason, I find a lot of funk house tunes like this one to have this very like high pitched, sped up vocal style that really complements the funk instrumentation. It's a style that really keeps the energy of the track moving right along as the vocals are really a center stage focal part of this song. Production wise, I think it's clean funk house with a graceful like drum kit beat that could easily slot into any garage style song too. In fact, I hear a lot of uh, inspiration from Disclosure on this track, I think more so than anything. And closing out this EP, is is Promises, which is my personal favorite. This time taking a bit more of a French house-centric approach with those vocoder vocals and the brightest synths of the project yet. This track just feels like classic Ellis through and through. The layered vocals, the random deep growls, that one iconic synth hit, the ping, and the percussion lead bridge section, it just screams Ellis. And this is one of those tracks where that three minute mark is just perfect timing wise. It does enough with the time that it was given that doesn't feel like it's missing anything, while it closes out its runtime, leaving me pretty much satisfied. Holistically, this is another fantastic EP from Ellis. I'm honestly shocked that having been around for eight years now and having already done remixes for artists like Haywire, Mike Posner, Megan Trainer, and Zed, that this is his only second project of any real length. Ellis really scratches an itch for me in the EDM space that I feel like few artists are able to attain right now. And he's doing so in a variety of forms, this project being a mainly electro slash house focused record. Comparatively to Recollection Perspective, it feels like Ellis went for a more straightforward by-the-books approach to this EP. He experimented quite a bit, I would say, sonically and structurally on the last, and this time was uh, time for some more structure. And honestly, I think both styles work really great here. They feel like they have vastly different styles and tones, but both are still distinctly Ellis. But with that, I'm going to score Ellis's Signals EP a bowtied 8 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear any and all thoughts right down there, because otherwise, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.